Peace, this is Molly with the Locks, and today I just wanted to do a, a quick video of how I am disappointed because I wanted to do this hairstyle for my birthday, which is August 1st, Leo, but anyway, I wanted to do this hairstyle, here it is, it's a crown, and I wanted to do that for my birthday, but I have their locks in my hair now. And I don't like the way it looks. The barrel twist, I don't like the way the barrel twist look with thick locks. So I had to opt for this. I still got some yarn in here. And this time I didn't start at the top, at the root. I went down some and then I started. And these are pipe cleaner curls and I did it a little bit different at the end let me see at the end instead of like bending it up over the hair I put a rubber band on the end you can't really see it you might can see it but it's a rubber band right there because since my locks are thicker if I just fold the pipe cleaner up over it is not going to stay so I decided to put rubber bands on it so this is how I'm going to wear my hair for my birthday. I don't know if I'm going to leave it in like this or take it out because I'm really feeling this style. But I don't like sleeping in it. So I don't know. We'll see. And someone asked me if um, using the yarn, if it would um, leave like a residue in your hair. I took it out and it didn't, so that's a good thing. But one thing is it did leave it dry. Like towards the end of my hair, it was dry, but not up here though. So this time when I did it, I moisturized it. I use this Hold and Shine Moisture Mist by Shea Moisture. So we'll see how it works with this, but this time I moisturized my locks before I wrapped the yarn in it. Because the last time when I wrapped, my, wrapped the yarn in it, I was just doing it to see how it looked. So I didn't really think about how it would treat my hair. So if you do this, moisturize your hair first and then put the yarn up there. And that's it. Peace.